This is by Allen American Locomotive. Uh, it's a 1 8 scale of a 440 engine built by the Cook Locomotive Works in Patterson, New Jersey back in 1888. Um, it's 7.5 inch gauge, has 8.5 inch drivers, 8 and 5 eighths boiler. It's a coal fired engine. See the fire door in the back there. Uh, the cylinders are two inch bore, three and a quarter inch stroke, and it's a Stevenson valve gear. The engine overall length is 60 inches and weighs about 500 pounds. Took about a year and a half to build, about a thousand shop hours. Uh, kind of looking at the back head here, you can see the steam manifold. See the pressure gauge there, it'll run at about 120 PSI, that's where the relief valves pop. And back in there you can see the injector steam valve. Uh, this is the blower valve that exhausts uh, steam while you're, you're firing the engine up or if you get stopped in traffic. Here's the whistle valve, and if you go over here, this is the, the whistle built by my friend Phil. Anyway, the... Um, uh, well, this is the uh, cylinder lubricator. You got to pump oil, steam oil, into the cylinder so that it lubricates the valves and the uh, and the cylinders. Inside here, you can see the reverse stand. Some people call it a Johnson bar. That's that's what it is there. Anyway, the uh, you can see a bit of the valve gear underneath here. It has three sources of water to put in the boiler. Then under here is the axle pump, a little hard to see. And then you come around the, the back end here. This is the steam injector. This is an Emory Olin camp I got from my friend Earl. And, uh, and then there'll be a third source. This additional boiler check valve right here will be for a hand pump that's out of the tender. Uh, you can see in the cylinders, this uh, lubricator uh, oil's coming in here into the top of the steam chest for the cylinder and uh, lubricates that. It's numbered 614 like the prototype engine. Uh, you can see the it's got a front coupler along with the, the cow catcher and, uh, and it's Pretty much of it's iron. The the, uh, the chimney and uh, smoke box are aluminum, but most everything else is iron on the engine. So anyway, the, you can see the brakes, brake rigging down in here, pushes out and against both wheels. Uh, that's one of the fill blowdown valves on this side. Uh, that's a, see the rock shaft there that works to the valve gear mechanisms so anyway that's gives you kind of a perspective of of the build um, I don't think you can see down in there but anyway there's stainless steel grates for the coal fire to lay on stainless steel ash pan down underneath uh, this is the throttle lever here the throttle valves up in the steam dome and this is a packing gland here to keep the steam from leaking out the rod that actuates the, the, the ball valve so anyway that's it for now